Hi guys, welcome back to our science class. Congratulations for finishing the quarter one. We are now on our quarter two, week one to two with our pivot module. This is Mom Chris, your science teacher. Hello grade five, welcome back to our class. Our lesson for this week is all about human reproductive system. This is what we're going to talk about today, the human reproductive system. This lesson will help you become aware of your role. It targets to describe the parts of the reproductive system and find out their functions. Having knowledge about the reproductive system will give you more sense of responsibility of taking care of yourself and grow according to the words of your parents and other members of the family who take good care of you. Males and females have unique reproductive system to perform reproduction. Reproduction is a process in which organisms produce new organisms to avoid species extinction. In humans, sexual reproduction happens, meaning the process needs male and female parent. Therefore, it is important to study our reproductive system for us to be aware and responsible on how to take good care of it. We have here the male reproductive system, the parts, pastiferans, penis, testes, scrotum, prostate gland, and others that we are going to talk about with our lesson. So here are the parts of the male reproductive organ. The male reproductive system is composed of different organs working together to perform reproduction. The testes or the plural testes has the primary organ is tossed to make sperm cell that is used to reproduce new organism. Epididymis is the site for maturation of the sperm cell to develop swimming ability. Parts of the male reproductive organ, we have here the vastiferens. So if you can see in the picture, we have here the vastiferens. It is the long tube that connects the testes and the prostate gland for the pathway of the sperm during ejaculation. So here it is in the picture. It is the long tube that connects the testes. Okay, so ejaculation is the process of releasing sperm out of the system. Seminal vesicle is the organ responsible for the secretion of fluids containing fructose, mucus, and prostaglandins. So just refer to the picture. Fructose content nourishes the sperm to stay healthy. The mucus content is for cell protection, while prostaglandin content triggers uterine contraction. Prostate gland is the reason of the smell of the semen, which is due to alkaline fluid that neutralizes vaginal acids. Urethra is the part of the system that conducts semen or sperm with other fluids to go outside the body through the penis. Penis has erectile tissues that are used during mating or during sex. And here is the female reproductive system and the parts of this female reproductive system is the fallopian tubes 
uterus, ovary, vagina, and cervix and others that are not here in the label. Parts of the female reproductive organ The female reproductive organ is primarily responsible for the production, maintenance, implantation, and elimination of egg cells. The ovary is where the egg cells or the oocytes get matured and is released. Fimria sweeps the matured eggs to the fallopian tube or oviduct. So here is the picture of female reproductive system and where it is located in your body. Still in the part of parts of the female reproductive organ, we have here the egg goes to the uterus where in eggs may be either fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or eliminated by means of menstruation. During implantation, the part called endometrium aligning in the uterus thickens to do the process. So, here is the endometrium. In the picture, you can see the label endometrium. endometrium. And vagina is the passage going to the uterus. It is where penis is inserted and menstrual blood goes out. In the picture, you can also see the label vagina. It is where the penis is inserted during sexual intercourse and the menstrual blood goes out here also. Please refer to this male reproductive system labeled parts for your learning tasks that are given to you in our module look at the parts here for your learning task and also here you may post the video for the labeled parts so that you can study it well and copy the labeled parts And also for this female reproductive system parts, please refer to the labeled parts of each reproductive system. You're going to answer like this one in your learning tasks. Okay, so we are now in our learning tasks. Please refer to your pivot for a modules for all the learning tasks that we have so that you can answer all the tasks that are given to you. Hope you learned something from my discussions today. Thank you for listening. Please like and share and comment down below for more video lessons. Just subscribe with my channel. Thank you for listening. God bless. See you next time.